Hello ladies and gentlemen, here I have my blower motor uh, sort of exposed here, started taking things apart. Um, you can see that it is on four and it is slowly but surely just dying. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will be changing out the blower motor and my 2004 Volkswagen Jetta. This is the TDI. Uh, first thing you'll want to do here is you will want to come and open your glove box. Uh, for the sake of time, I have actually uh, taken out all the screws and then put everything back together to show you. So you'll want to open up your, up your glove box. And there's going to be three screws for holes right here on top here. You'll go ahead and remove all three of those. Then you can close the glove box up. And you'll come down below here, and you'll see right here, there are three screws down below. You'll remove all three of those. Once you have those removed, you'll come over here, you'll follow this panel down, you'll remove this. Once you have those seven uh, Torx screws out, you can come over here to this black panel. You can pry it out just a tiny bit, or get up under that. And then this will just fall right off this lip. Now, from here, you can close the glove box back up. And this panel down here has some play in it now. Um, you can try to wiggle it out and down a little bit just to give yourself some space. Um, and then you're going to want to pull this out uh, toward the rear of the vehicle right here because there's some clips right here. And then as you pull it out, then you will tilt it down. So I will try to show you here with one hand. So, so I pulled it straight out. So when you pull it out, you'll tilt it down like this and lift up and out. You'll want to disconnect that harness. It goes to your glove box light. Uh, this is a good time to replace that if you'd want to do so. Once you have the glove box out of the way, you can lift up this here and just sort of tuck it up out of the way. Then that will expose your blower motor here. In order to lower the blower motor, uh, there are two connections that have to be disconnected. This being one of them, and the other is right up here. Also, you'll have two six millimeter screws. One goes right here, the other goes right here. You pull both of those off, and then this will just flip down and there you can see your blower motor resistor right there and then you'll want to pull this up and out so that it can clear the blower motor so you can pull out on this just a tiny bit and that will drop straight down it uh, smells bad like it's been cooking We pull that bag off there. Oh, pull it down. Give it a good tug. There we go. Thank you. Can you see what this does? Yeah. Let's compare them. So here we go. We're going to compare them. They're pretty similar. Looks like this one will just slide up in its place. So now we will go in the reverse order and install this one. So this here just slides up. These black tabs go on the outside. That way it can seal up tight. And there's a channel up there. Make sure you have it in that channel. Um, once you get this in position, you'll go back to your resistor here. And we'll stick this up here and put those two six millimeter uh, screws in. And that'll hold everything in place. I have the motor in place and I have tightened up these two six millimeter screws here they do not need to be tightened up super tight just enough to where there's no more play here once you have that done you can plug in your resistor there and then plug in the blower motor and essentially this is all good to go i'm just going to put everything back here put it go in the reverse order installing everything back make sure you put these uh, this panel back up there 
it's held in by two plastic clips. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but there's one on this side and one on the other. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that back up there and then reinstall my glove box. Before reinstalling, make sure you plug your uh, glove box light back in. When snapping it back in, this is the first, once I get this edge in uh, behind this, you make sure that this is straight. Don't try to push it uh, toward the driver's side because you'll end up breaking it. Um, it'll snap right in if you have it straight out. And then everything else will hold in place. If you have the driver's side of the glove box installed or clipped in, you'll come over here and you could use your screwdriver to pull this, pry this out a little bit while pushing this forward toward the front of the vehicle. And this will just go over the slip here. Once you have that done, go ahead and reinstall all seven screws, the three up top here on the glove box, three on the bottom, and then this one right here. All right, so my son is finishing up tightening all of the, the T20 uh, screws there. Can you say hi, William? Hi. Do you like helping me? Yeah. yeah. So he helps me on almost everything I do, and it takes me at least twice as long but he loves to be hands-on. Um, we usually make sure we're super safe with everything. Do you care if I start the car, William? Yeah. I'm gonna start it so we can turn the heater on. Okay. It's, it's safe, okay? Cool. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. The light's end on my thing. Yep, that's the glove box light. So we're gonna turn the heater on. Ooh, it sounds, it sounds nice and clean. Yeah, it sounds really nice. My son William is finishing that up. I'm gonna show you here that we are just over 300,000 miles on the odometer. So we have owned this car since it was brand new and it has been an amazing car. Done quite a bit of work on it. Um, and it's been pretty smooth. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe for future videos on this vehicle. And thank you very much for watching.